Vest and denim. Yeehaw! Hi, my name is Johnny, and today we are taking a look at some very exciting new releases from Ashdown. Ashdown, the bass amp company, I bet you didn't know that they do basses too. And they are going to be taking the market by storm with these new super affordable roasted basses. They released a couple of basses a few years ago. They're a little out of a lot, a little, 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 but they're a little out of many people's price ranges, which is why Ashdown are saving the day with some more affordable versions made overseas. Before we go anywhere, I just want to say that Ashdown have sent me all four of these bases to check out today. They haven't paid me to say anything about these, so all of the thoughts are my own. Totally honest, not impacting what I say. Now to avoid this video being a million hours long, I'm not going to dive too spec heavy into each of these. I'm going to give you my quick thoughts on each before we listen to a deeper dive on what these things sound like. First up, let's talk about the Saint. The Roasted Saint is priced super competitively at £330. This is kind of their bread and butter PJ base CTS style pots. The neck on this thing, the nut width isn't too wide, so it's not uncomfortable, but it's got this nice, almost like D or U shaped neck on it that fits really nicely in your hand. The one I've got here is in shell pink, but it also comes in this incredible onyx green and also the ice blue. Head up with a matching headstock and roasted maple neck. Oh, next up, we have the Lowrider. And this is the one that's grabbing the most people's attentions, I think, because it is Ashdown's take on the legendary Thunderbird. Priced at £350, the Lowrider is in direct competition with the Epiphone Thunderbird, but instead of two kind of mini humbucker, humbuckers, humbuckers, wider, big pole piece humbuckers, kind of similar to a double humbucker stingray, but positioned slightly further apart. This base is only available in this matte black. Ergonomically, it's a Thunderbird. You know, they're not the comfiest things to hold. I have had a few Thunderbirds before though, and I actually think that this one is slightly less cumbersome in your hands. And of course, 
it does have a bit of neck dive. But it's certainly not worse than some other Thunderbirds that I've had my hands on. Moving on, we have the Saint Soap. Now, the Saint Soap comes in two different versions. Long scale, so standard 34 inch, and a short scale version as well. Unfortunately, I don't have the short scale version here, but I do have two of the long scales. So I thought it would be good to test these in with rounds and flats. This is mostly the same as the PJ version of the Saint, but just with this single soap bar pickup. No nonsense, volume and tone, slightly more vintage P-Base alternative. Both the long scale and the short scale version also come in at 300 pounds, so the most affordable of the three. Now, of course, I forgot to weigh all of these, so on screen, here are all of the weights of these basses. Now let's have a deeper dive on the sounds of these basses. All of this demo is going to be using the Line 6 HX Stomp, Galleon Kruger Head, the Ampeg SBT 8x10 cap.
So out of the three different bases here, let me know in a comment down below which you would pick up. Overall, I think these bases are amazing. I think the value that you are getting is really, really great. And it's amazing to see something from what is, although a global company, still a really small company. Ashdown is like eight people. So technically a small company making amazing affordable bases now it's not all good i'm afraid there are some imperfections i've seen there's some little bits about these like the kind of pocket in here kind of rough around the edges and it's been really interesting having two of the exact same base the fret edges felt slightly sharper on the green one than it did the blue one so yeah, a little quality control thing there that I noticed, but overall build quality, honestly, is super, super solid. Going in, I was most excited about the Lowrider. I think this base definitely feels a lot better than a standard Thunderbird. I'm not totally sold on the sound of this one. It just doesn't do it for me, I don't think. It's quite, I think, your picking position really impacts the tone of this bass. The Saint Soaps are so nice when you're rolling off the tone a little bit. Finger style on that soap bar pickup is just a dream. Really, really warm sounding and yeah, just, just great, I think. It sounds really cool. I thought this one would be great with flats and yeah, it suits it perfectly, I think. It sounds really, really good. And last but definitely not least is the Saint. If I'm honest, I was going into this least interested in the Saint. I've played so many PJ bases before, but this one really turned my head. I don't think I've ever had a bridge single coil that I like so much. I think it sounded really good. Really thumpy P bass pickup and combining them all together. It's just so glassy sounding and almost tubey sounding. It's so strange because when I was playing it at the DI tone, I was getting like Ashdown amp feelings. I can kind of hear the heritage baked into the sound of these pickups. That is going to sound so out there and stupid to some people, but that is honestly the feeling that I got. In terms of setups, out of the box, these have been phenomenal. The lowrider, a bit on the buzzier side, it's a bit more difficult to tame that beast, I think, but, but still really good playability overall. I've reviewed loads of squires on this channel, and these are definitely up there with that classic vibe range fighting it out at that price point you wouldn't be disappointed picking up one of these over a squatter i don't think so there we have it the almost entire roasted range from ashdown to check out these bases make sure you click the links down in the description to read more up about the specs and the details for yourselves once again thank you so much for watching see you next time